So this is returning back to the motorcycle wheel tire changer device. It's been a long time, but some parts had to arrive through mail and it took a very, very long time to show up. The main part is this. So if you have not seen this, this kind of thing before, this is commonly referred to as a duck head or duck bill. This is the part that actually removes or remounts the tire. So this thing is what I had to wait for. It took a very, very long time to show up. This is a very important component besides taking off the tire, which the machine did already very well, is remounting a tire, and you need this. So um, this I welded onto a bar right here, and I discovered that it doesn't quite work very well. So I said, all right, let's go for version two. So as you remember, this is a piece of the pin that goes through the center of the wheel, the axle and the new version is going to pivot around this thing to keep it fixed in place. So I had to find something that works. So what you could do is get a piece of metal and you know it has to go through this bar so to draw at the bar, insert something or weld it up, it's a whole big production. So um, I wanted to make this video to kind of tell you that when you have to design or build something it's very smart to look around at pre-existing things and find something that works and repurpose it. It saves a lot of time and makes your work a lot faster. So in this case, I found this thing. This is very cool. This is a six-way pipe connector. This is tapped for half-inch NPT, National Pipe Thread. This is a half-inch pipe. Remember, with these kind of pipes, the measurement is the inside, okay? Here, not the outside. Pipe is measured by the inside. So this is a half inch, and this is a six-way connector. They also make three-way connectors, which are a corner piece and also T's. So this is used for, say, building something. Not for liquids, though you could, but it's used for building stuff. So in this case, hey, instead of going through all the trouble of having to make something like this out of a solid piece of metal, the drilling, the welding, and everything else, I can just repurpose this, drill open the hole a little bit, and this becomes, let's see which side is right here, but, uh, this becomes my, the part I need right for the middle. So an existing part repurposed, next step is I will cut this off of here, remount it onto the tube, and then finish out the part. So that's the next step. But it can be very useful and I highly recommend it. Know what's in your local hardware stores. You know, I have always um, made sure I walk through every single aisle, look at every single thing on the shelf, so I have a good mental map when I need something, where stuff's at, special kinds of connectors, of screws, nuts, bolts, cotter pins, where are they located, um, all kinds of handles, hinges, whatever, tubes, wires, um, cables, pipe parts, plumbing parts, whatever, to when I'm building something, I'm like, oh, I need this part that does something, I know exactly where to go and exactly what to get. So when you have the opportunity, I highly recommend, recommend go to your local hardware store and just browse. Walk through and see what they've got because later on you may need it. It's a very smart thing to do, know where your stuff's at. So this six-way connector now becomes a very strong very nice pivot point, which will be really, I think will work really, really well.